All right. Hello. Hello, guys. Hello. Um, you're on a live broadcast. So we'll have some people hopping on in just a minute or so, but we're just going to kick this off for people who watch the recording. I don't want to waste your time too much. Hi, for those hopping on. So my name is Emily. I am the Inspired Oil Life here on Instagram and YouTube and Facebook. And I have my lovely friend, Cass, with me she is herbs underscore um oils on instagram and how else can they find you uh that's it that's the best way to find you okay so Cass is an aesthetician a holistic aesthetician and for sure without a doubt everything i know about skin is definitely because of you <laughs> <laughs> definitely so uh -huh. i've learned a ton from you and i wasn't really that interested in skin um until a few years ago when i met you and i feel like i've amped up my skin game and I get asked about skin a lot and so let's dive in we actually did for those of you that have been watching for a while we did a live on skincare a few months ago but because we did um, a shared live she was at her house and I was in my house it didn't allow me to save that live and so I get asked still if I can get that live and I can't it is gone forever so we're hoping to kind of like bring back some of the magic so we collected a bunch of questions from you guys you guys can also put questions in the comments below and I can swipe up and find them again but if you have any skincare questions um, obviously we're talking about essential oils and doTERRA skincare products because they have so many amazing ones they have three beautiful lines um, along with a few ancillary skin products that we're excited to introduce to you and also just respond to a lot of your questions and concerns so with that in mind do you can I ask you to share like a tiny bit about yourself or sure. how, like how did you get into skincare um, I actually um, I used to live in Sacramento for a while and I used to trade for skincare for flowers and I used to have really bad skin and this esthetician who's a friend of mine ended up having me read all these books and I got really really into it and saw the changes and so I just decided to go to school for it and I have a really good friend that's been doing it longer than me and she just suggested this amazing school in Seattle um, that was they focus um, on all of the holistic side the whole body so awesome okay so when was that when did you take Oh, probably 15 years ago yeah a long time so she's been an expert for a long time you guys <laughs> and from a holistic approach which is really awesome yeah so even before I met Cass she was using um, Bach flowers and other holistic modalities and making her own skincare line and selling it because we all love everything she creates <laughs> she's a blend master no kidding best blend master I, I know um, so, okay, so let's dive in. Do you, um, we've got this whole list of questions, but do you mind sharing like maybe just off the top of your head a couple of the most common questions you get? Um, definitely the biggest questions that I get is probably a uh, cuprous rosacea. It's all sort of the same thing. There's a few different kinds um, and how to treat that. Um, another one that I get all the time is, well, definitely acne scars is huge, um, and probably puffy dark circles under the eyes. Okay, cool. Well, let's start with rosacea. So with rosacea, um, there's really a few different kinds, and so it does actually matter where yours came from. You can get it from, like, extreme weather conditions like if you're out skiing and you don't have anything on your face or you're sitting in an air-conditioned office all day you'll need to kind of shift things around for your environment that you're in but basically the bottom line is it always comes down to the gut whatever's going on in your gut and then you can work on your face but it just so happens that my most favorite oil ever for rosacea, ret, you know, broken capillaries, anything that's going on here. These ones are usually alcohol, so um, I'll just leave that there. But uh, anything you so get So are you here, seeing the ones around your nose? Yeah, a usually? lot of times is usually like... I wonder why that alcohol. is. Um, just the blood flow. And so this month, the oil is cypress, and that is hands down 
been my most favorite oil for that. I take cypress, you can put it in your toner, you can add a drop to aloe vera, use it, just use cypress. It is um, really good at like pulling, contracting, repairing your capillaries. That's why it's also good for cellulite or spider veins. Um, it's just definitely one of the best oils for that. So you say add it to your moisturizer. Can you even, I made, the, I made this for a friend, this is cypress. Do you, you can even just like, oh, put it in your toner or like yeah. put a little drop. Would you put it on your skin neat? Uh, you could, but um, that one really I like with a carrier okay. just because of what it's doing. Yeah. Um, and then also you want to make sure when you have uh, that sort of skin that you are, if you're getting out of the shower, you are putting a, your toner on before you're blow drying your hair. Um, all of those are going to make a huge difference. Maybe cutting back on spicy foods to see if that alleviates it. Um, there's quite a few things you could do depending on why you have it. Um, okay, yeah. so rosacea. So with my husband who does have rosacea and he kind of breaks out over his nose and um, cheeks here, he tried a whole bunch of eliminatory, like he eliminated um, sugar, he eliminated gluten he he thought it was the beer the hops in the beer for a while and then for him the one product that has helped him over everything is the hd clear yeah hd clear is actually he still I, orders it monthly for yeah me. he'll be like i need some more moisturizer <laughs> i need some yeah i researched all of the typically in the skincare world you would never i can't think of any product line that you would use an acne treatment for cuperosa rosacea but this um the ingredients in the HD Clear line are are actually work for both acne and rosacea. So it is the one line that just does wonders for that. That's awesome. Okay, so for those people, because we did get a couple questions about rosacea, what you would say specifically is like bring out your cypress. Bring out your cypress. Start using that in your toner and your moisturizer. Yeah. Um, any other tips? Um, I think, hold on, I've got a few. I had to keep some notes here because I can't just remember everything. <laughs> um, let's see. Where's my cypress? Oh, uh, Roman chamomile is also a really good one for that, and sandalwood. Um, those are both really good oils, too. Roman chamomile and cypress. And I okay, believe somebody it's... says you mean cypress, but misspelling maybe the tree of the cemeteries. I've never heard that before. <laughs> Cypress is a beautiful tree. It's spelled C-Y-P-R-E-S-S. -S. Um, so I don't know. Yeah, tree oils to... are amazing for your skin. Yeah. I also love cedarwood on my skin. Yeah. Yes. And frankincense and sandalwood. And cedarwood is one I love putting on straight. Yeah. Okay. Neat. Cool. <laughs> yes. Yeah, cedarwood is so beautiful and moisturizing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's move on to um, toners. Um, somebody asked if alcohol in a toner is okay and how that works. Um, you definitely don't want to use alcohol as a toner. Okay. All What a toner's job is, is when you wash your face, when you use a cleanser, anything, you're acidic on the inside and alkaline on the outside or vice versa but it's meant to protect your skin from bacteria because they cannot live on both surfaces and so your skin will naturally go back to that right pH balance in 24 hours it's called your acid mantle but the idea is that when you use a toner it goes back immediately so you have zero chance of having this happen and so really a toner is your pH so you can kind of mess around with those you definitely don't want one that has like a million ingredients um, because it just needs to change your pH and so the toner that I use is the Virage toner yeah what do you think about this I love this toner and I also love the um, pore the reducing oh yeah cleanser, mm -hmm. or the okay. toner yes yeah okay cool sometimes I will actually take pore reducing toner and pour it into this bottle <laughs> yeah. when I go through this one. But I love the smell of this. Yeah. Mm. So this is the Virage kit for those of you that aren't familiar with, oops, with this line from doTERRA. The Virage is the 
kind of the, well, it's the completely plant-based, super, super, super clean line of um, products. So this is the one where if you want products that score like uh, a one on the Environmental Working Group website, which is the cleanest, um, non-toxic, like these are gonna be for you. Um, what do you think about this line? I love it. I use, I go back and forth. I, I just too, mix and match. Yeah. I like them all. I do too. There's, yeah. Yeah, I do too. I've got like my other essential skincare <laughs> line here too. And I get asked a lot, like, which do you prefer? What do you recommend? And I really do kind of like pull favorites from each and then yeah. I kind of trade them out. Um, In different times of the year, your skin's going to need different things. And so it is actually good to switch it up. Oh, I always wonder that. And yeah. I, I think so too. So people yeah. say, I get this a lot where people say, they'll start to have a reaction and they say, but I've been using this forever. Well, that's why. It's the same thing with foods when you have one of the same thing forever. Yeah. I was actually just talking about this yesterday. The food allergies that I have are the things that were always in my parents' fridge growing up that they were never out of. I can't mm. have milk. I can't have butter. I can't have eggs. Yeah. Your and so body for me, is finally yeah. too much of a yeah. good thing. Right, right. Reacting so it is good against to switch it. it up. Yeah. So change it up with your skincare. Can we talk about like DIYing your own skincare serum? Because this is, you guys can see, this is mine. Um, I'm almost out, but Cass always gives me the best recipes for my serum. And um, yeah, so if you were going to DIY your own, like what would you recommend? Um, let's see. Well, I guess right now, because it's starting to get sunnier, yeah. I would definitely start with a base of rose hip seed oil. It naturally has the highest amount of vitamin E, and it actually has vitamin D, and it's going to be repairing your skin. Okay, that's good to know. Mm -hmm. that's good. Rose hip seed. Anytime you hear me talk about oil, it's probably going to be rose hip seed. It's, okay, as a carrier oil. Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's definitely one of the best. And then... Do you want jojoba? Because I feel like everybody knows jojoba. Jojoba is great, too. Um, it actually matches the oil. It's the closest matching... Uh, oil that mimics your own skin's oil. So jojoba is a great one too. Okay, for all skin types. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, what about like almond oil and avocado? Avocado oil is really, really great for dry skin or um, when you're starting to show signs of a aging. It's really moisturizing. Mm -hmm. So for the fine lines and wrinkles mm -hmm. and. It's Yes, it definitely okay. works well. But rosehip seed oil as like a general kind of all around, Yes, everyone's going to love it's it. It's my favorite. Yeah. Okay. And, and one of the biggest things that rosehip seed oil does uh, with daily use is it's going to help because of all the vitamin E that's naturally occurring in it and vitamin C and antioxidants and I mean the list goes on and on. It's going to help with healing any scarring, any, you know, helping reverse sun damage your body just really knows what to do with it um but i love the 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 one that i've made right now that i love the most is i add a couple drops of yarrow palm because that's the best ever um i add a I actually have been adding a lot of star anise lately because oh. it's one of the best skin oils. But I won't talk about it too much because not everyone okay. has it. Yeah. But it is actually a really good skin oil. Um, and then I add a couple drops of Console. Believe it or not, this um, emotional oil has some of the best hmm. <laughs> mixture of skin oils. So we have frankincense, patchouli. I know that's good for skin. Ylang Ylang, amorous sandalwood. Rose and osmanthus. That's yeah. so funny. It's the best skin. Yeah. Oil. So tip this, of the day. Okay, that's a good tip. <laughs> that's a good tip. I've never used that on my skin. Oh, you should. You will love it. Okay. Um, I also have been adding. Um, I'm trying to go through my oils and see. I always have cypress. I never have anything without cypress. Um, frankincense always. I joke that it's like Frank's red hot. Put that bleep bleep on everything. <laughs> yeah, it's the best. Yeah. Um, when in doubt, you really can always use frankincense. It is, um, it's antibacterial, it's anti-inflammatory, it's amazing for acne. It's um, really helpful in decreasing pore sizes, um, evens out your skin tone, encourages constant new cell growth. 
um, helps reduce wrinkles, it's tightening your skin and reducing scars, uh, and it's a skin brightener. So speaking of um, cell growth, one of the things I learned from you early on is that as you age, okay, so you guys <laughs> that have babies, do you remember when your baby would take their nail and scratch their face and they would get like a little ding or an owie and the next day it would be gone, right? Because their skin cells are regenerating so quickly. But as we age, those slow down. Yeah. And so what's the general rule of thumb? So here? basically um, until you're, I believe, 20, uh, early 20s, t late teen years, it's about 18 days. And then it hops up in your 30s, late 20s to mid 30s to about 30 days and then over 40 it's 60 days so anything that you do to your face is going to take 60 to 90 days for the skin cells to regenerate which is a really long time so you have to be more patient that's why you see a lot of older people with a lot of wounds on their arms it just the skin cells just can't so, recuperate the cells. so what i would translate that to is being really diligent and literally just like keeping at it, even if after yeah. a week you're not seeing that much of a, you know, a big result. Um, and I have personal experience with that from the Yarrow Palm because my hands have been showing some serious um, aging signs, like bad. They're right, dry right now, but with, yeah. I mean, like, you know, your skin, your face is like one thing that you don't really see it that much, but I feel like I look at my hands all the time and this winter they were, really I was just like oh my god I look like I'm 60 years old on my hands and I'm not kidding and so I started applying my yarrow palm and I've talked about this a lot because I do love it so much I have created um, I have three this is the old yarrow palm bottle that came from convention and I have another one in my car and I take this bottle I pour it in here and then I have a squirt bottle and I just squirt the yarrow palm on my skin and it has taken at least 10 years off, and I'm not joking, but it's been using it one or two times a day, every day. So I, I just wanna like say like, be, you know, your skin's cells are gonna regenerate and they're gonna come back, but it's gonna take a while, especially if you're over 40, which I yeah. am, so yeah. And, that, and with that point too, um, when you're using ingredients that have chemicals, your body can process what to do with it, that's why you get really quick results, but it does sort of send your body into a state of shock because it has to figure out constantly like how to do it. And because we have homeostasis, our body will always figure it out. But what I love about the oils and natural ingredients is that DNA matches DNA. And then your body can work on dealing with something else and not trying to constantly run around and Right. Send messengers all over the place. Right. Yeah, I know. That's a good tip. Okay. Um, side note, if you take frankincense internally, it will help get rid of cold sores. I did not know that. Did you know that? Well, it's it's in with the mixture if you do Melissa. Uh-huh. If you take frankincense and Melissa, I think it's three drops each in a capsule. And this is for one and two. Okay. Um that is definitely something that will push it through really awesome. quickly. Awesome. Uh, yarrow palm, yes. Yarrow palm right here. Y-A-R-R-O-W slash P-O-M. It's yarrow and pomegranate seed extract. Uh, they call it an active botanical nutritive duo, and it is amazing. It is. So one of the things with yeah. the pomegranate... And it feels so good. It does And it's feel silky, really good. and it's not, um, it's not oily. It absorbs. You guys saw how blue it was when it came out, and it just absorbs right in. I love it so much. And then when you have the residue in your hands, you just take it and put it right over all your wrinkles. Yeah. And Next. it also stimulates your uh, cells in the skin's outer layers mm. which is another great thing and it's really really good for reversing all the sun damage and it c contains polyphenols yes right so yeah it's it's badass 
It is badass. badass. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's move on. Okay. So if you were going to, did you already answer if you were going to make, okay. So rose hip seed oil. Yeah. Rose hip seed oil, frankincense, yarrow palms. Would you do just rose hip seed oil or would you do like a combination? I actually clean my face at night and my makeup off with just straight rose hip seed oil. Okay. Yeah. Um, I just really love it. Would you add fractionated coconut oil or? I wouldn't personally. Um, I do try to stay away from coconut oil on your face. Um, sometimes the fatty deposits are too much for your thin skin around your eyes and can create little teeny white bumps. Mm -hmm. Um, and if you are prone to acne, there's something called a comedogenic scale and that's how pore clogging something is. So you can just Google it. I don't think there's any fake comedogenic scales out there, but it's C-O-M-E-D-O-G-E-N-I-C. And then you can look at every single oil on a scale of one to 10 from least pore clogging to most. Um, depending on if you have acne, that could be really, really helpful for you. So I just tend to stay away from it. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, cool. Okay. So let's answer some more questions. How about oils for heat rash? Uh, the first thing that comes to mind would be myrrh, lavender, um, yeah. Aloe vera. Okay. So just make a the little... Biggest healers. Yeah. Serum yeah. or... Yeah. Just put it right over. You could yeah. just put it in a spray bottle. The aloe oh, is... Yeah. You could use any kind of hydrosol. You could use um, any kind of... I probably... Witch hazel, maybe not so much on that one. I would use probably just the aloe vera that you drink in the store because it doesn't have any added ingredients. That's the one downside to aloe. It's a great carrier for a lot of things. It produced fibroblasts, which are responsible for your collagen and elastin. And so using that with taking the LLV and all the essential fatty acids is gonna triple the effects. Okay, can we come back to the LLV yes. for a second? Because that's not a skincare product, but I think it's worth talking about. Like, yeah. what's your take on, sorry, um, LLV and your skin? Um, I think that you have to do it. I think that, um, well, here, I can show you this. I am somebody that has always hated my hands. I have never, ever had any nails in my entire life. And although I've been doing this for about three years, I'm just not consistent with taking the vitamins. So December 1st of last year, I made taking them every single day just a totally non-negotiable thing and I have not missed one day since December 1st yeah and now I have nails and they look fake Every, yeah my mom saw these and freaked out so yeah these are really long I got some nails yeah you do <laughs> and it's all the LLV you commented on it too yeah, yeah I did oh my gosh yeah I did but yeah. it's essential for your collagen and elastin production to be taking it as far as just if you are not circulating everything in your body if you're getting constipated and you're not regular everything shows up here it's definitely one of the downsides to our skin is that when your face is unhappy it's your body is telling you something. well functional medicine i mean skin is a detox pathway yeah and so when we're when things are off here and our gut biome yeah. is messed up guess where the detox pathway is our skin yay yeah. So, and also different parts of it, right? For eczema and yeah, like psoriasis. Is, when you and, get little bumps right here on the yeah, back of your arm, that's yeah. just too much sugar. Sugar, usually. I've heard that too. Yeah, right. And that's really common. Um, I don't have that right now. <laughs> but I have had it in my life. Um, yeah. So, okay. Yeah. So the LLV is really important. If you can think about what it's doing for your nails and your skin, I mean, just think about what it is doing for your insides, for internal, right? Um, okay, so how do I get a glowy complexion? Well, the LLV, yeah. drinking lots of water, um, really doing, you're going to cleanse, tone, serum, and moisturizer. And the number one answer to having glowy skin is you have to be able to exfoliate and have cell turnover. Um, think of it as like um, you can do chemical or manual exfoliation, but you have to do it. If your skin just stays the same all the time, you're not regenerating new skin cells. And so I am absolutely obsessed. This was actually one of the first things that got me into the skincare line, because I'm kind of a snob, and because I'm an esthetician, I was like, I'm not using that doTERRA line. 
But now I really, really love it and have researched all the ingredients and I'm totally into it. But this is a two-step system. You put just a light scrub on and then you'll put a liquid on after and you just wait a couple minutes and then wash it off and I guarantee you your face, like that was it for me. I could not believe how soft my skin felt. And so basically, it's just sort of eating off the dead skin. And so I also really suggest a Clarisonic cleansing brush, which would be more your manual exfoliation. And then we would call this the chemical exfoliation. Mm, and there right. is other ways to do it, you know, lactic acid, um, AHAs, which is just sugar cane. Um, but you have to be doing these things weekly in order to see changes. It's not, none of it is the one and done. Like it's all the consistent, no. like sticking with it, being, you know, persistent yeah. and yeah, yeah. Um, okay, cool. So glowy complexion, get your LLV, <laughs> get your reveal. Um, I would add, oops, I mean, drink water, obviously. Water's going to be a huge piece of that, but Yarrow Palm is going to also give you glowy skin. Mm -hmm. um, and you can also do this thing at home if you get really close to a mirror and you just press up on your skin like this, you'll see a little creping. And so when your skin is really hydrated and you're doing all the right things, it will just have a bounce. Oh. Even if you're old, it will have a bounce to mm. it. And so you can push it up like this. This is how we check hydration. And if you'll, you'll see, you'll know. Okay. <laughs> when you okay. See I've seen that. I've yeah. noticed that. Okay. That's a good tip too. Um, okay. So hyperpigmentation. Yes. So hyperpigmentation. Um, let's see. I, what did oh, I say? Lavender? Sorry. Arts by Danielle. Would you clarify your question? How often would you use that a week? Are you talking about the reveal? Um, just type your question down below and we'll come back to it. Okay. I use the reveal once a week. You can oh, okay. use it twice a week. Yeah. I go There's between once and twice a week. Yeah. I'll switch between the, um, clay mask and then doing the reveal. Cause that's actually doing something different, but it's also really helpful. So one tip about masks which the reveal is not a mask, just to be clear. I'm talking about the clay yeah, mask. Yeah, and I did not bring that out, sorry. Yeah, but, but um, the mud mask is a bentonite clay, which is really great for like pulling any excess oil, dirt, sebum, all of the things out. But a tip on the mask, and you can also do it on your armpits, you could do it on your feet. These are all gateways for pulling toxins out of our body. It might seem kind of weird to do a mask on your feet, but it is actually really great. Um, but if you keep your mask damp, you're adding things to your skin. If you let it dry out, it's pulling out. So there are times when I'm not ready to have a little breakout. And so I'll just keep it damp and then come back to it when I'm ready. You know, cause sometimes mm -hmm. you want to like look really good for pictures or you're going on a trip or I don't know. I guess there's never a time that I can ever think of yeah. when I have a breakout, but yeah. you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, maybe when you're going into a silent retreat and you're not talking to anybody else for a week, which there you go. we all do. No. Um, how often would you use the mud mask? You can use that. You can use that easily two times a week. The thing with the mud mask that gets really confusing for people is it does make your skin red. You're going to take it off and you're going to be like, oh my God, I'm having a crazy reaction. But you're not. You can just leave it on for the last amount of time. It's really really circulating everything. So it's good even for sensitive skin. It's okay for your face to be red sometimes. You want things circulating. We don't use all of our muscles and our tissue. That's why when you Google facial exercises, you're gonna find massive amounts. We, the older we get, we stop using a lot of things. Mm. And so, you know, there, that's why you definitely want to be doing things when you're cleansing your face. So the the like manual lymphatic drainage is coming out and going down like this. So you can do all kinds of movements to be aiding in the circulation. Okay, with it. cool. Speaking of that, I use a lot of my oils like just in roller bottles. I've got a few on my desk that I just keep here and I use a lot of them on my face. Um, Immortel, obviously one that I love, Rose, Jasmine. And I've been told to draw a heart 
along your face, basically kind of like that. Is that yeah. true? Yeah. Okay. So that kind of covers like the main areas yeah. that you want to apply. I think one of the things I see people do that maybe you just don't know, but when it comes to your face and people putting moisturizer on, they just kind of go like this. This is, You just pretend this is like a moisturizer. You just put it on. You're going to get really into it. You're going to rub it between your hands. You're going to mm. make circles. You're getting everywhere. You're moving everything around. Where you have little wrinkles, I have something here. You can actually go like this every single day. It's almost like how cellulite, you're breaking it apart. I was Just my because mom, you have that, you're not stuck with it. I've never had someone say that. My mom yeah. always said, just touch your skin really gently. I believe in getting the lymph flowing and okay. moving things yeah. and circulation. Yeah. Um, and someone else might disagree with me, but that's how I do that's it and good. that's how I learn. That's good to know. That's a good yeah. tip. Definitely your eyes are a different story. Okay. Um, really you'll careful. You'll want to just... Pat, pat, pat. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. Um, our, we had a question of, she's still, um, a gal is still breastfeeding. Are there any oils she should avoid? Um, I think she was talking about skincare. Yeah. Uh, what are the main ones for not breastfeeding in general? It would be the same thing because peppermint. it goes into your bloodstream. Yeah. yeah. Peppermint. Yeah. And that's I can't it. think of anything else. But we're not really putting peppermint on our face anyway, so that's okay. Yeah. Chai, yes, I'm saving it. That's why we're here <laughs> together so that I can actually save this this time. So, yeah, you if you just popped on, you've missed a lot, but it's okay. You're going to find it on my YouTube. <laughs> um, okay, so um, acne scars. Acne scars, this is amazing. Um, the Immortal, this actually doesn't have a carrier oil. And so this is really the big guns for anything. Um, this would be a great, um, even under eye treatment, because it has all the oils at full strength and it's just gonna get to work. And I'm just gonna hold this up so you guys can see. This is Immortel, for those of you that may not be familiar with it. Um, it is the anti-aging blend. Um, this is a pretty penny. This is one where if you're on LRP, like save your points up and then cash them in. Um, because it is, like she said, straight um, frankincense, sandalwood, lavender, helichrysum, and rose. So it's and like... Those are all the anti-scarring oils. Right, right. Yeah. So, so even scarring on tummy from stretch marks and any sort of scarring. Yeah. Yeah. But, all, but specifically scarring like facial scarring yeah yeah mm -hmm. facial scarring if you're just starting to be like oh my god i have too many wrinkles yeah this um definitely is a good one yeah yeah um i had surgery on my hand a few years ago and when i was working on getting rid of that scar immortal was all i would use on my hand well, and your ankle yeah foot. yeah that one i don't care as much if you see it <laughs> It's hiding down there on my ankle. This but yeah, would actually be the best oil to put on after a day in the sun, too. Oh, yeah. It would just really, your skin would thank you for it. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I would add peppermint to that. Yeah. That's the only time I would use peppermint, actually. Yeah, because peppermint on a hot day or, you guys can tell, I, mm -hmm. my face is red because I just got back from a run this morning and it's still red. Um, it's so cooling on our skin. That's the only time I would use peppermint. So for the breastfeeding question, otherwise <laughs> we're not really using it. Okay. Um, under eye dark circles, other than an eye roller, she said she wanted oh, okay. clarification other on that. the eye roller. Um, well, coffee is an amazing one for dark circles and puffiness. You mm. can brew coffee really, really, really strong and put it on little cotton rounds and then keep it in your fridge. And put that under your eyes. You can also... Hmm. I really love Correct-X for the mm. eyes. I have it right here. Um, and one of the best things about this is... Let me see if... Okay. Let me look at the ingredients really quick. Um, oh, it's not on here. Um, so one of the biggest things with people that use Neosporin is the um, cottonseed oil that's in it. I think there's cottonseed oil in here, but I think that it's um, sourced... I read a big thing about this where it was sourced. So one of the hugest things with cottonseed oil is that it completely slides under the FDA radar of being any food grade anything because it's cotton. 
and I read um, some crazy statistic that over 80% of breast cancer when they remove stuff that they always find balls of like cotton seed oil like remnants of it in mm. the breast tissue and so you really want to pay attention to certain ingredients that slide under if you mm. are using you know more um so if you're you're talking about neosporin, neosporin. Okay. yes so right. correct x i put this under my eyes i use it as a chapstick i mean i don't have one right now because I give these away all the time. I'm Mine's like, almost gone too. They're so good. And um, I won't ever post pictures because it's too gross, but my dad ran his hand through a table saw and got all stitched up. And the doctor was freaking out at how fast he had healed. And all he used was Correct-X. Um, I have another friend who had a surgery on her leg and got an infection and just used the Correct-X and was like, writing me freaking out at how quickly it heals. Sometimes it's the fastest healer, <laughs> like so fast. So super good for um, puffiness and dark and dark circles. Yeah. Awesome. Well, and then also it has frankincense, which is the total face oil. Um, helichrysum, which to me is like a Band-Aid for your face. Um, anything sun related. Any cuts, any um, weird things that pop up, helichrysum always. Um, that is in all of my sun sprays. That is in all of my toners that I make. I put that in all my serums. It's just a must have. Cedarwood, which we talked about being really soothing and protective on the skin. Melaleuca and lavender. So these are all gonna be really good at um, helping reduce inflammation and you'll see the difference there. Okay, we're to the end of our questions. So I do wanna say, and then I wanna let you say anything else that comes to your mind. I used to be a Clinique user for two decades, for way too long since I was like middle school or high school probably. And I was so dependent on these products. Like, I don't, I don't know, it was crazy how much I, thought I could only use them. And <laughs> as I started to get a little more open to natural options, I would go to Whole Foods and I would, you know, buy something. And back then it was really easy to return anything that you didn't want. And so I'd break out and then I'd go back to my clinic and then I, a couple months later, like, oh, I'm going to try something natural again and go back to Whole Foods and try something and I would break out again. And um, I was so dependent on Clinique, even though I knew it was just full of junk, like so full of really harmful toxins. And it wasn't until I tried the Virage. The Virage was better. And I'm missing, uh, what am I missing? Cleanser. The cleanser. Oh yeah. It's in my cabinet. <laughs> cause I'm, cause I'm using this cleanser right now from the essential <laughs> line. Um, but it was the first time I was like, I moved immediately to the Virage with no issue. Like, yeah. and I've been able to say goodbye to Clinique forever. And I really do, like you guys, I only use, oh, we've got a question and I'll get to that in a minute. I don't use any other skin products besides doTERRA. So I, I know a lot of people like that. And yeah, totally sometimes make my own. And there are even other products like I'm kind of obsessed with that I haven't even talked about today. The anti-aging eye cream, which has the steel roller that is so amazing around the skin. And if you skin. keep it in the fridge, yeah. it's going to be it's even cooler. But even just like on a warm, like it's warm here right now and it's still cooling and I still love it. So you guys can move to way more um, healthy and less toxic products if you're stuck on something that's over the, um, that's like department store or um other products that you know aren't good and you want to switch to better stuff you can do it it's just kind of yeah i think and feel free to message me i'm happy to answer any questions because yeah. it's everybody is so different so. so okay so um what would you recommend for helping heal piercings oh you have lots of and, mm. and tattoos correct x is great would it be good for healing a fresh piercing too Yes, I correct X all the way. Tattoos, piercings, um, myrrh, because it's good for mucous membranes, is probably a really good oil to use right afterwards. I always think of like 
any of the oils that are like the tree oils, frankincense, cedarwood, um, myrrh, you score the tree and the sap comes out. That's what it's gonna do on your skin. It's gonna create, myrrh I think, I call it my Band-Aid. If you get a sore, a fissure on your hand, anything like that and you put myrrh on it, it's great for your feet. It's gonna create a crust on it that protects your skin so that it can heal quickly. So um, definitely correct Dex. Myrrh, um, I'm trying to think of other ones. Helichrysum, sandalwood, um, rose. I mean, that's the total skin healer without a doubt. Rose, yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely the correct Dex is just really a solid, good. You're not gonna be, you know, so many people say like aquifer. I don't even think that people are really telling people to use that anymore. And Cetaphil. Yeah, we're super, super toxic. Like yeah. so, so bad. Yes. So you don't want to confuse your skin even more. Yeah, yeah. Cetaphil, I read an article, I posted an article a few months ago that it was like products and Cetaphil are like used in the dump or something. <laughs> I mean, it's so bad, the ingredients in there. So stay away from Cetaphil. So would you use Correct X for cold sores? Uh, I actually would use On Guard. Mm. Um, and just I've had a straight on. Yeah, I've had a few friends that have said it's healed it up faster than anything else they've tried. I mean, there's also Melissa because it's antiviral. So you're going to be looking for what is antiviral, um, and you don't have the what. Um, Helichrysum, frankincense, cedarwood, melaleuca, lavender. You could probably for some relief, but if you wanted to push it through really fast to make it go away, um, that's the difference. This could probably bring you relief, but as far as pushing it through your system, Melissa or On Guard is going to move that cold sore right along. Cool. Awesome. Any other last tips or words of advice? Um, well, I did want to oh, say... Oh, somebody asked about a sunscreen, a DIY sunscreen. Okay, I'll get to that in a minute. Okay. <laughs> um, wanna, I just want to say for people that have acne, um, our tea tree, melaleuca, same thing, is um, the only oil that we... The only oil that kills pea acne, which is the big cystic acne that you get. There's no other oil... Um, that's why you're going to find tea tree in any heavy duty chemical or non-chemical um, treatments for acne. So that's a really good tip for that. Um, it actually kills it. And so then, how would they apply it? So you can, um, that is a great one. You can just spot treat even. Okay. Like if you're getting, I mean, because when you get those really big ones and they start brewing, it's pretty obvious where they're at. And you just spot treat. I am obsessed with, and I probably use it every day if anything pops up or I get anything weird, um, the HD Clear Roller. I'm all over it. And I do tons and tons and tons of waxing. And it is the best ingrown hair serum. Um, so if you even if you shave or wax, um, HD Clear is going to clear it up within 24 hours pretty much it just really goes in and kills it yeah awesome. yeah awesome awesome cool yeah hey <laughs> thank you so much for being here no problem. you're the best so if you guys want to find Cass you can find her at herbs underscore oils on Instagram she has a super fun page and she is like I said in the beginning a total blend master she knows <laughs> Her stuff, I mean, her brain is full of so much stuff that you didn't even get out <laughs> today. So, um, yeah, you guys follow her, connect with her, and thanks for being here. No problem. We'll see thanks you later. Bye, guys. <laughs>